The holidays are a time for giving and gratitude, but also food, food, and more food. Everyone has their favorite dishes, but some often dismissed options might be way better than they get credit for. These are the most underrated holiday eats you should consider adding back to your menu. It seems like green bean casserole has been around forever, but it's really only been a thing since about 1955. That's when Campbell's employee Dorcas Riley invented the holiday staple that, according to the company, makes an appearance on almost 30 million tables each year. I brought the green bean casserole. We brought the green bean casserole. With that many families serving the classic dish, it's obviously a common sight at holiday dinners, but oftentimes it gets passed from person without much love. And that's unfortunate, because green bean casserole happens to be one of the tastiest sides out there. Can it be a little gloopy with its canned green beans? Sure, but there's nostalgia in that gloopiness. And that's also where the french fried onions come in. With enough of those crispy, crunchy morsels adorning the top of the dish, it really doesn't matter what's underneath. Seriously, French fried onions could make dog food taste good. Pro tip, fresh beans go a long way in elevating this old school side while allowing the original flavors to shine through. Suddenly, it's gone from gloopy to glorious and you won't be passing the dish at all. You'll want to park it right in front of you. Some classic fruity jello has always been a delightful treat, but we used to use it to make some pretty weird things. These dishes are what nightmares are made of, and have made us all repulsed by the thought of a jello salad gracing our holiday tables. But it's time to rethink that stance. Today, jello salads are a dish to be celebrated, stuffed only with fruit and not a spoonful of mayo in sight. They happen to be a perfect holiday dish. Not only are they a light and refreshing palate cleanser among a sea of heavy, rich foods. They're also an almost dessert before the real dessert is served. And who doesn't want two desserts? Each holiday, as the creamed pearl onions get passed around, you can hear the chorus of groans move around the table from person to person like the wave. But really, creamed onions don't deserve their bad rep. The flavors are like scalloped potatoes, um, but you're using pearl onions instead of the potatoes. These pungent pearls go from sharp and intense to savory and sweet in the cooking process, and practically melt when they hit your tongue. Ideally, that is. Now, if you've ever popped one of these little babies into your mouth expecting a soft, creamy bite, but instead were met with an undercooked onion, then your aversion to the dish is warranted. Of course, nobody wants to chomp down on a raw onion, but pearl onions that are cooked to creamy perfection should grace every holiday table. When it comes to canned cranberry sauce versus fresh, the debate can become quite contentious, but it's canned that gets the most hate. Those who favor from scratch cooking insist that there's no place for that ridged blob of jelly on their table and say that freshly made anything is better than already prepared. But believe it or not, there are plenty of professionals who disagree. David Bancroft, executive chef at the restaurants Bow and & Arrow and & Acre, spoke about his fondness for canned cranberry sauce to food and wine, saying, If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I was so proud of my homemade cranberry sauce. I found it pushed to the farthest corner of the table where it was in nobody's way. There's a certain nostalgia that comes with canned cranberry sauce. And there's also comfort in knowing that every can you open is going to taste the same which means there's absolutely no risk of a recipe failing on you. That's reason enough to stick to the store-bought stuff. Mashed potatoes get so much love at the holidays, and there's no doubt that they're delicious in all their creamy, fluffy, buttery glory. But we forget about those other worthy potato dishes that just might be better than their mashed cousins, like scalloped potatoes. This preparation of potatoes offers a couple things that mashed potatoes don't, namely texture and flavor. Is there anything more drool-worthy than a casserole dish filled to the top with thinly sliced potatoes cooked to tender perfection in an ungodly amount of cream, milk, butter, and cheese? With just a hint of nutmeg? Actually, yes, it turns out there is. The burnt, crispy edges of those creamy, cheesy potatoes. Mashed potatoes might get points for serving as a vehicle to consume more gravy, but scalloped potatoes already come with their own heavenly sauce. If you ask us, when it comes to this side dish throwdown, the winner is clear. 
Although ambrosia salad has been around since the late 1800s, it seems to have fallen out of favor on today's holiday tables. It's time for an ambrosia salad resurgence. Why are people grossed out by this right now? It is not gross, Matt. Typically made with mandarin oranges, canned pineapple, maraschino cherries, coconut, pecans, whipped topping, and mini marshmallows, it might sound a bit overwhelming, but all these components come together to form a light and fluffy salad that's unlike anything else we serve at our holiday dinners. Is it a side dish? Is it dessert? Ambrosia salad can be whatever you want it to be. That's part of its charm. The holidays can be a stressful time in general, but nothing is quite as stressful as cooking a big holiday dinner. That's why this holiday season, it's time to abort your mission at becoming the next Martha Stewart and grab a few boxes of good old stovetop stuffing. Don't scoff. Stovetop has a lot going for it. First, it requires only water and butter, something you can't say about homemade stuffing. Second, it only takes five minutes to make. This frees up your time to focus on the rest of the dinner or, you know, drink a few glasses of wine. Finally, it just tastes good. Homemade stuffing is one of those holiday dinner risks. It might come out soggy, it might come out dry, it might come out flavorless. But with stovetop, you know what you're getting every time. That delicious savory flavor you remember from your childhood. No, not the puffy neon orange balls you get in the giant plastic tub. Delicious cheese balls made with actual cheese and spread onto crackers. The cheese ball's popularity has had its ups and downs since its inception in 1801, falling in and out of favor from decade to decade. Some years it's in vogue, some years it's passe. But why in the world wouldn't you want to eat cream cheese plus more cheese rolled in nuts, no matter what the trend? These days, gourmet cheese ball recipes abound on the internet. And whether you want bacon or ham, or Gruyere or Gouda, there's a recipe for it. In fact, an entire cookbook full of cheese ball recipes debuted in 2013, hopefully a sign that they're here to stay. No matter which iteration of the cheese ball you choose, it definitely belongs in the holiday spread. There's really no in-between when it comes to this holiday drink. You either love it or hate it. But those who choose not to partake are missing out. It's time to give this once-a-year classic another try. It's nice to see you enjoying a holiday beverage. Pretty Christmassy. Says, when is eggnog a Christmas drink? It's true that there are plenty of good reasons not to like eggnog, but these are all solvable problems. Yes, store-bought versions can be a gamble and are often not worth drinking. Yes, real eggnog can be a pain to make, especially if you don't have a surplus of eggs laying around. And yes, eggnog has a thick consistency that some find unappealing. But have you ever thought about the melted ice cream approach? Good vanilla ice cream, plenty of rum and bourbon, and a few pinches of nutmeg and cinnamon make a faux nog that nobody can pass up. And as for that thick consistency problem, it's really just a matter of adding more booze. Put enough brandy in there and we're all eggnog lovers. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite holiday foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.